All right. Uh, hey guys, it's uh, SAMC Hampion Live S here with another one of your uh, your product reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be um, reviewing uh, the King of Queens box set. Um, this is the this was the first one I got. It was about um, thirty-five dollars on Amazon. Um, this is the one I've used and abused uh, the last like, six or seven years. Just two spindles here. Nothing too special, but. Recently, I was doing a little bit of an eBay craze, and I uh, managed to get my hands on um, one of these little puppies. That's right, that's the King of Queens little truck. It's the whole show, just in a little truck here. Yeah, the back's a little falling off, but other than that, it's pretty nice. But then again, but uh, due to some uh, eBay shenanigans, you know, the post office with uh, COVID and everything, uh, there's a little mix up, and I won't get into it, but I wound up with, that's right, two of these King of Queens box sets. And so in this video I'm going to be kind of going over the differences that I've found. Wasn't really expecting there to be differences, but there are. Um, for example, you can see here that one is clearly taller than the other. Whoop. Sorry. It's funny because I think the one that the back falls off is actually a little bit nicer. Um, this, this seems like the color of this little tab is slightly darker on this one. And also you can't really see in the video, but the quality of like the images on here, slightly better on the one on the left. It's just like a little clearer. Probably can't tell, but this one also has like sort of, sort of a reddish tint. Like De Doug's arm there looks real red. Um, other little differences I found were um, in these little booklets. This See, these are sort of like they have like a little tab up there. These ones don't. These ones are, I think, a little. The paper's like a little shittier. Pardon my. Pardon my. Um, sorry. Yeah, it's not too different, but. Like a little shorter too, actually. I mean, that was they saved money by like taking a couple inches off everything. Put these back. I'm a bit of a organizer. Um, in here again maybe a little tiny difference in size and then on the pictures of the discs now these aren't the same ones but take my word for it the the discs on the left the pictures are just a little clearer these are like a little blurry not sure why just like I don't know cheap printing processor just shave a couple bucks off while making it. Um, oh, 
One last thing. The one on the right just kind of goes to like a black bottom there. It's just like a little black floor. And this one has like a little fake like wooden pallet. And it actually comes out. It's like a real truck. And that's my King of Queens collection. I think I plan on giving the giving one of them to a bud to a buddy. Buddy of mine who likes King of Queens as much as I do. Almost as much as I do. <laughs> um Yeah, probably give him the shitty one. <laughs> um Yeah. Would like to get my hands on uh on the Blu-ray set at some point. It seems to be sold out. Hoping can pull another eBay. eBay uh scavenge and uh, I've also heard that the German blu-rays are a little bit nicer so I've also looked into maybe getting a German blu-ray player and buying the German blu-ray because you can still get it a little easier um, and also there's like a little box set of the DVDs I think it's more like this one but the cover is sort of a this dug in a truck maybe one day I think that one's actually even harder to find than this because it's like how do you describe it like dug on a truck this is dug on a truck so it's like a small truck I don't know anyway that's my review uh, make sure to give us a uh, five stars and favorite the video add it to a playlist whatever you need to do Alright, see you folks later.